Welcome back guys, my name is Wes and today seems like a really nice day to make some sawdust and I've got just the logs here to do that with. This is a stack of southern yellow pines, loblolly pines, whatever you want to call them. And these are very, very fresh cut. These came down yesterday. We've got about seven acres or so of planted pines on the place and they are getting to the point where a lot of them are ready to harvest but there are also a lot of them that need to grow some. So yesterday I started the process of thinning these out so that the smaller ones can reach their full potential and be harvestable. Right now I've got a little bit of a break on the home remodel project because I'm waiting for the boards that we put in the house to acclimate to the house. So I've still got a week or two before I can start putting walls up. So it seemed like a good time to start on another project. And these logs are going to be cut into true 2x4s, stacked up for hopefully, very, hopefully a very short amount of time, and then sold green and rough cut just like that. So we're going to cut these up into true 2x4s and sell them as quickly as possible. I've got 36 six logs here uh, the largest one is 14 inches the smallest one is seven inches so yeah they're not huge logs but there's a ton of lumber in these logs right here my estimate is 122 by fours out of these out of these logs so let's get them on the mill and um, see what we can do Before I really get into this, I want to rig up some kind of a dust collection system here just so I don't get so much sawdust in the shed here. So let's see what we can do with some straps and a bucket. Doesn't have to be pretty, it's just got to work. If it'll stay. Well, that was a pretty good start. That was a 10 inch log and I ended up with four two by fours out of that log. So 
not bad at the price I'm planning on selling these five bucks a piece that's 20 bucks so pretty cool let's get these stacked up and uh, we'll cut some more I guess this works kind of in principle um, the bucket stayed up there didn't fall down and it kept five gallons of sawdust from being all over the shed but and it fills up awfully fast maybe there's a better bucket I could use on it guys that is 50% of the logs I had 36 logs I've got 18 left so that's exactly half and we're at 58 boards so we're pretty close to on track to get 120 we'll see what happens um, it's time for supper we'll continue this in the morning good morning Guys, it is just past 8 o'clock in the morning, and it is a glorious morning. It's like 59 degrees out here, and it's going to be a great day for getting these logs done. But first, we need to feed Sue. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sue. Ooh, that's the spot. That's the spot. Ooh, yeah. about need some more food
that was the best one yet. That was a pretty big log. I didn't measure it, but it was pretty large. And I got eight two by fours out of it. So yeah, that's a good deal. I've been getting three and four out of most of these. So eight is, eight is good. <laughs> This is the rare project where these slabs are not gonna go to waste. The pastor at our church is interested in coming to get these because he's got some kind of a shack in the woods, uh, off-grid cabin, I'm not really sure what it is, that he wants to use these as siding for. So he's gonna come get these at some point and um, that'll be good use for them. I wanted to pause real quick and show y'all this log. This was the most productive log yet. This is 10 two by fours right here, which is really good. I was, I think it was a 14 inch log at the widest part, something like that. I'm um, only probably gonna be able to sell like seven of these, unfortunately. So if you look right up here, there's quite a bit of weighing right here. Uh, down the side or down the corner of this one right here, there's a fair amount of weighing. And right down here, there is some weighing too. Uh, this one may pass, so there's not, not a whole lot on this one and it's kind of towards the end but uh, if these were my logs if these were my boards I would nail these up in a shed or a chicken coop or whatever structurally they're fine they just look kind of ugly so I just don't want them in the stack with the rest of them I'm trying to just minimize the amount of bark and weighing that are on these two by fours so um, but really good production out of this one Well guys, I'm happy to say that that project is finished and it turned out really good. I estimated 120 boards, ended up with 134, which is really great. And that's with culling three, three of the logs had to be culled for various reasons. They were just not good enough really. But this is 134 boards right here. And there were actually a few more 
that would pass for like studs or whatever, but they had a fair amount of weighing on them. And I tried to keep the weighing to a minimum in these boards that I'm gonna be selling because I love for folks to kind of get their money's worth on these. The ones that I culled out, I put them in the stack for my pastor and I'm hoping he can do something with those. There's really nothing wrong with them. He's gonna take the off cuts, those uh, slabs on the outsides of the logs and wall up a little shack in the woods that he has. And maybe he can use the two by fours as well. Um, that took these are rough numbers i'm not really sure exactly but that took about 12 hours and burned four or five gallons of fuel filled up about four barrels 55 gallon drums of sawdust which i dumped in the woods and um all in all oh two blades i put a brand new blade on there first when i first started and ended up having to put another one on there and there's still a fair amount of life left in the second one so they were really clean logs and that contributed to long blade life there so good project i thought it was pretty efficient and i don't plan to quit i'm going to try to thin out some more and the next batch i'll probably cut a whole, bu whole bunch of two by sixes out of that batch um, these are already posted for sale and i've got a couple of nibbles on, on on them already i've done this before i've sold two by fours before and i've had no trouble selling them at this price so hopefully hopefully it'll work out this time you never know things change uh, things change really quick so We'll see what happens, but that's going to do it for this one. Guys, I am pretty much shot and I will see y'all on the next one.